Doctors are fighting to save the lives of a 52-year-old woman and her twin 19-year-old daughter following a violent attack with a man at their, at their home in St. Helena, Piaco this morning. Reports say the incident took place during an argument with a man whom the mother knew. That discussion escalated into physical violence and later the house was set on fire. Marie Hull reports. This is the aftermath of Rosie Saunders house located in St. Helena village, Piaku. According to her brother, Christopher Saunders, the house was set on fire on Tuesday morning following an incident with a close relative. So when I reached up the road, yeah, they had her in a car. She was all in blood. Yeah, she was all in blood. So I went as sister fix her in the car. And then she, well, she, well, she, she at, at that time she was conscious. And um, she told me what shot, what shot one do, which is her husband. While Mr. Saunders was not present at the time of the incident, he told C News that the man first attacked his 19 year old niece. What is telling me is that he was abusing. Uh, my niece, right, which is Maya, right, and when my sister intervened, pick up a hammer, start to beat my sister, then get a cutlass and start chopping up, well, the, the, right, the two girls ran, and he set the place on fire. Mr. Saunders said this was not the first time his sister was a victim of abuse. I knew he was abusive, I knew, you know. It's not the first time, you know, thing like this happened, but she always trying to cover it up. It's just that this morning, well, it, you know, she always trying to cover it up. Probably, you know, trying to make things work because she already married to the man. They didn't work. Members of the fire service were alerted to the fire at St. Helena Junction at about 8 a.m. on Tuesday. The alleged attacker was said to have escaped on a bicycle. Rosie Saunders, a mother of four, and her daughter Maya, one of a twin, are said to be in stable condition at hospital. Marie Hall, C News.